Located on the southernmost tip of the African continent, South Africa is a moderately sized nation with a population of just under 60 million people. As the fifth most populous country in Africa and one of its major economic powerhouses, it's no surprise that there are 4.9 million licensed heavy-duty drivers in the country, 450,000 of which are currently employed. A nation home to a diverse series of separate ecosystems, South African truck drivers face a range of challenges in their profession. From tackling treacherous inner-city traffic to navigating the open deserts of the country's interior, there is no shortage of excitement or danger in the life of a South African truck driver. Welcome to the fourth episode of Trucking World, South Africa. South Africa is home to the 10th largest road network in the world that spans over 750,000 kilometers. This network includes 12,978 kilometers of national roads, a system of freeways intended to connect all major population centers in the country, 394,000 kilometers of provincial roads that either feed into national roads or serve as secondary trunk roads between cities, and 16,000 kilometers of metropolitan routes, which are controlled by individual city governments. The remaining roads in the network are mostly rural and are either made up of gravel or dirt. While many of the major highways are in great condition, some of the smaller roads are in need of repair and maintenance. The country has made significant investments in upgrading and expanding its road infrastructure, with several major projects currently underway, including the construction of some new highways and the expansion of existing ones. However, traffic congestion still remains a major issue in some urban areas, particularly around Johannesburg and Cape Town. As a result, South African truck drivers must navigate a complex and often challenging road network, one which requires ample skill and patience. As of 2016, South Africa has limited the speed of heavy goods vehicles to a maximum of 100 km an hour on certain highways, so long as they're hauling less than 9,000 kg, in which case the maximum speed limit is reduced to 80 km an hour. South Africa has a wide range of truck brands available in the market from around the world, including European brands such as Volvo, Scania, Mercedes, MAN, DAF, and Iveco as well as certain Asian-branded trucks such as FAW and Tata. Of course, South Africa's own Power Star trucks are a common sight here, as they're produced domestically and their purchase benefits the local economy. Select American-branded trucks can be found here too, from companies such as Kenworth, Freightliner, or International. The availability of such a wide range of brands and models means that trucking companies in South Africa have a variety of options to choose from when selecting their fleets. South Africa's economy is driven by a number of sectors, including mining, manufacturing, and agriculture, producing crops such as maize, wheat, and citrus fruits, as well as the raising of livestock. All of these main industries require trucks to transport goods, most of which are exported to China, the United States, Japan, Germany, and Mozambique. Considering the dismal state of the country's rail network, almost all land exports are handled by truck, with the rest being taken care of mostly by sea transport. Truck size in South Africa is regulated by the National Road Traffic Act of 1996. According to this legislation, the maximum length of a semi-truck and trailer combination is 22 meters, the maximum height is limited to 4.3 meters, and the total mass of the vehicle and its load must not exceed 56 metric tons. However, as with most countries, there are exceptions to these rules, such as in South African road trains. Known as long combination vehicles, or B-doubles, these vehicles boast a total length of up to 26 meters. Overloading is a common problem on South African roads, which can cause damage to the road surface and increase the risk of accidents. To combat this issue, the South African government has implemented a system of way bridges and other enforcement measures to ensure that trucks are not carrying excessive loads. On average, South African truckers make 200,760 rand per year, the equivalent of 10,769 US dollars, giving the country the highest salary for truckers out of any other African nation. South African truckers are limited to 14 hours working in a 24-hour period, 11 hours of which can be spent driving. In a 7-day period, truck drivers can be on duty for a total of 60 hours, though this can be expanded up to 70 hours in an 8-day period. Trucking in South Africa is considered a dangerous profession for multiple different reasons. Firstly, truck hijackings have become quite a large issue in the country, particularly in the provinces of Gauteng, KwaZulu-Natal, and Mpumalanga. These jackings not only put a truck driver's life at risk, but end up costing trucking companies significantly, as most jackings are performed with the sole intention of stealing the cargo. Other drivers also pose a great risk to South African truckers, as the country consistently ranks the 7th worst in the world and the 4th worst in Africa when it comes to traffic safety. 
As traffic regulations are loosely enforced at best, it's not uncommon to see reckless driving, speeding, or sudden lane changes, especially on smaller streets and in less controlled areas. Reckless truckers pose a major risk to both other truckers and cars. Unfortunately, crazy truck drivers have been an issue in South Africa, and though some are caught for violating the law, there are plenty that continue to drive. South Africa is so reliant on those who drive trucks that their contribution to the economy is essential for the continued development of the country. Despite all hang-ups, South African truckers still get to experience some of the most beautiful natural landscapes in the world, and though the state of their industry is imperfect, we should thank them all for the work they do. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out the channel's Discord, linked in the description below. Keep your eyes peeled for more Trucking World content dropping soon, and have a wonderful day.